So the dogs are barking and very upset because they know I brought this out. So for um, breakfast today, they're having each a pork chop, a baked potato with borsin, and um, a treat that I made this morning with the um, uh, red cabbage pulp, peanut butter, and some bread crumbs, and then the um, apple turnover from Costco. So each one of them's getting that, and uh, I'll just, <laughs> I guess I'll put the camera here and you should be able to see them come out. I'm, I'm gonna let them out now. Okay, come get it. Go on, find a dish. There's lots of dishes for everyone. Go. And well, everyone wants the pork chop the first, of course. There are five dishes. Find a dish, there we go. And Elvis is off and running. I don't know where he's going. Keep a hold of your, Opie, come back to your dish. Look, somebody will take your pork chop if you look, Amphrit's gonna take it. Anyway, kids, they're funny. Now, um, I'm just going to talk a minute about, I might not even be in the camera, I don't know. I didn't set up very well. Um, I watched this yesterday, Dear Dictator, and it stars Michael Caine, Katie Holmes, and anyway, it has Seth Green in it, and um, honestly, I think I have to put Katie Holmes on a, on a no-fly list for watching, because she's... Um, She's adorable and I feel for her. She always looks sad, her eyes look sad, but, um, and she's way, way too thin in this. And she doesn't seem to get good roles in, she doesn't get, she doesn't get good uh, pieces to work on for movies. And so anything that I see her in, it, it's not really satisfying. So I, um, I did not enjoy this movie. I. I didn't enjoy it at all, actually. Um, so I, I would not recommend it. Hellfest. Now this, um, I I get scared easily by horror movies, and um, when I was young, what I'd do is I'd watch them over and over until they weren't scary anymore, until they were just silly or whatever. Um, but. Um, I, I do enjoy some horror stuff and I always end up getting it out so anyway uh, this was made by CBS and so when I read that on the back I'm like oh well what's this gonna be like but um, it was good really scary and totally believable um, Besides the fact that, I mean, they're, the whole, they go to this traveling, friends go to this, um, it's a Halloween, uh, horror themed Halloween event at a local amusement park, it says on the back. So, um, a girl comes home from college or whatever and she's, her friends are like, oh, we got these VIP passes, this is going to be so cool, you know, it's a traveling um, fair and they've set up in town and it's so scary and it's supposed to be so good. And it's like, okay, they're a traveling fair that's, you know, centered on Halloween kind of theme. That That's, I mean, Halloween only comes once a year. So what, do they travel one place for one year and then one place for another year? It, that's the only thing that didn't make sense about it, right? Um, and when you're a horror movie watcher, I don't know that it matters so much if a few things don't make sense. The point is, is it was scary and believable and I didn't end up leaving and cooking or anything like that I sat there and I watched it and I think anybody who's into horror movies would enjoy watching this she is really enjoying that pork chop wow she's just I don't know who 
she's missing a pork chop now, guys, because Anifred is sitting there near two pork chops. So I don't know what's going on.